What's up guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today we are going to be making eggnog and we're not making a one-off this time. We're making a big punch bowl of eggnog. Well, not a big punch bowl. I scaled everything down by half because I don't want a whole bunch of eggnog clogging up the fridge. Well, that's not true. I do actually want eggnog clogging up the fridge. My wife doesn't want a big old thing of eggnog clogging up the fridge. So if you guys want to make something that is for 10 people, scale it up by half. Scale it up by two, sorry, so that double it, and you'll, or if you want something like 20 people, scale it up by four. Uh, you get the point. So what I've done is I've taken uh, three eggs and I've put in three yolks in one bowl and whites in the other bowl, separated them out. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quarter cup of sugar and we're going to add it slowly to the egg yolk as I beat it. I'm just saying that now because when this go gets going, it's gonna get kind of loud and you might not be able to hear me. And we kind of want to beat it till they're almost white. So here we go. And what's going to happen is you're going to see that it's going to start making a paste. Just kind of add it in gradually. All right, that looks almost white to me. I'm just going to rinse these little guys off real quick. So it looks about almost white. And then what we're going to do is add two ounces of Smith & Cross rum. And two ounces, ooh, careful, two ounces of Evan Williams bonded bourbon. Well, ah, exactly two ounces. Lovely. And then we're gonna start to incorporate this. And as we're stirring, as we're stirring, we're gonna add in slowly a cup of heavy cream. And, a cup, and two cups of milk. There we go. And then we're going to put this in the fridge and let it chill for three hours. All right. Now, just before you serve it, We're gonna get rid of these. We're gonna set this here. We're gonna put this center front stage. We're gonna get another quarter cup of sugar. And just before you serve it, you're gonna take the whites that you've separated and you're gonna beat them into peaks, into almost peaks, into light peaks with another quarter cup of sugar. Now, you don't want to make it into a full-on meringue. You just want it to lightly hold peaks. So it's not holding peaks just yet. So we're going to beat it a little bit longer. But you don't want to make it like fully, fully meringue. You really don't. You're just lightly holding peaks. And I won't repeat that again, I promise. Almost there, almost. Uh, 
That's got to be it right there. Oh, that's perfect. See? It's lightly. That's good. All right. Oh, we are done with these. Now, we're going to take our eggnog. We are going to grate in a little nutmeg. A little cinnamon. I like to combine it in. Then we're just gonna take a ladle. Here. I'm gonna take our glass. We'll take a ladle. Ladle in our nut, our, our eggnog, and you will just want to make sure that you leave enough room on top. Ah, ah. Leave enough room on top to top it off. With your foam. I'm going to take a little more nutmeg. Sprinkle it on top. Ah! And a little more. I keep on dropping my spices. Sorry, guys. And a little more cinnamon. And then you clean off the glass. And there you got it, guys my eggnog. Cheers, let's try it. Smooth, boozy, perfectly balanced. I know that sounds like bragging because it's my eggnog, but I'm not lying, it's perfectly balanced. There you have it, my friends. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, drink some eggnog.